Hey, this is Jeffrey Clemens with another drum break for you. This is going to be uh, drum break number nine on my YouTube page. And if you happen to catch number seven and number eight, they're all sort of related in a little series. Um, today we're going to learn how to play. It's a 16th note triplet that John Bonham kind of made famous. Um, he would use it sometimes as a fill. Sometimes part of a solo, and sometimes maybe as an explosive sort of ending to a tune. Um, he was a master at the, uh, the 16th note triplet in many different combinations. This combination is one that's pretty easy to play, and you just have to sort of get it going slow and then try to build speed on it. The basic figure is the 16th note triplet between the hands and the, and the feet, um, and then you can move it around the drums in any combination as you want. It's right, left, kick, right, left, kick, right, left, kick, right, left, kick, the whole way, any drum that you feel like playing. If you add the hi-hat, the hi-hat's going to play one, oh, oh, and, oh, oh, two, oh, oh, and, oh, oh, three, oh, oh, and, oh, oh, four, oh, oh, and, oh, oh. The bass drums are going to play at the last, on the last, of every triplet. For example, one o oh, oh, and o, oh, two o oh, oh, and o, oh, three o oh, oh, and o, oh, four o oh, oh, and o, oh, oh. which gives you the. If you play them together, you get this um pa 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 pa. One o oh, oh, and o, oh, oh, two o oh, o oh, and o oh, o, oh, three o oh, o oh, and o. Oh, oh. I hope I said that right. One o o n o o two o o n o o three o o n o o four o o n o o. Add the triplet, and you get.
I hope that explains it. Thanks for checking me out. See you next time.